Welcome to our third fast and easy basing video. Today we're going to be doing winter wastes, uh, snow, frost, ice, that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got a couple of products that we're using. We're going to use GW's Astro Granite to get the, um, the base down. Um, for the basic one, we're going to use the Praxetti White by GW. Then Gamers Grass winter tufts the five mil winter tufts uh and then also for a little addition um bit of an extra if you want to or not we're going to use the still water by vallejo uh the tufts and the vallejo are available in our store um protec models if you wish to go over but we are going to start with the usual uh just a standard 32 mil base this works for anything. It works for Legion bases, any base that you want. Uh, I use the grey because it just it goes well with the white. It contrasts with the white. So my usual stick for doing um, a lot of a big open bit of bases is just a metal rule. So quickly. And this is just astragranite debris debris or you can use astragranite it's just one's lumpier than the other uh, basically so give it a good coat if you do a nice even coat all over like i've said with the other uh, basic materials like the vallejo ones at this point you can you can assess if you've put too much on or not scrape a bit off you're going to go around the edge in black or a brown color later um, and then just use the ruler and stew the splodging um, and you get the, the peaks and the troughs so obviously cleaning the ruler off I'm not measuring anything with that while it's like that you leave that for an hour or so to dry um, and you end up with here's one I made earlier so to get it uh, prepared for uh, the, the actual snow and stuff like that you need to give it a little dry brush it just makes it look as though it's got um, a bit of frost on the or a little bit of snow so it's just praxity white you can use any white I just the GW stuff comes and it's already practically ready to be a dry brush so just check there's not too much coming off and then just a, a light if you do it in one direction you get the look of a windswept um, base so see how it's just caught all of the, the the surfaces and stuff like that um, and I've got another one here and this is a rougher version so what I've done is I've scrubbed it sort of thing I'm still scrubbing it now um, but that gives it a lot a lot a lot more snow and a lot frostier um, it's the usual thing you can you can put as much or as little onto it as you want so once you're done with the white the next one is and i missed this off at the start sorry is the ground texture snow by vallejo again this is in our start i didn't put it up on the starting picture because there just wasn't the room so you just take i tend to take a bit out of the the pot put it into the lid and as you can see it is very white and it does shine a lot so I try to find like clumpy areas like in a bit of a rock where it would and just spreading it like that you get a, like a natural spread it catches the rocks uh, some of it stays like some of it's gone over there so if you're just spreading it like that you get and if you wanted to if you did it in the line of the um, the way you dry brushed it you're going to get like a, a spread of 
um, s snowfall that looks as though it's been blown in the same way as that the, the winds frosted the uh, the grey underground so that I tend to leave the diorama effects to again to dry for about an hour um, once they dry they're pretty pretty robust so again here's one I made earlier um, this is uh, this has been done about an hour and it, it's dry to touch so the next thing I will be using is the gamers grass tufts it says looking for a, a palette there's my palette uh, just a little bit of PVA and just one or two you don't have to go daft again you can put one bit in you can put five bits in it's also going to depend heavily on where you've got your figures feet these are bases a little bit easier for me to do on a live stream and I haven't put a, a figure onto them so I'm going to leave that a little bit free for the water effect that you can actually add so I'm just going to do two and it just gives a bit of a bit of life that there is something there that's that's alive so at this point you can stop there um, you don't need to do anything more than that you can drop a figure straight over the top of it put it on or you can do that rounder figure so that is uh, barring a little bit of clean up um, really fast half hour base for a full squad sort of thing so what we do have though is we have Vallejo's water effect and I've had a couple of people asking me about it. We do stock this now in this size bottle and also a huge bottle. Uh, so if you're wanting to do big scenics and stuff like that. And it is just, as it looks like, um, a clear liquid. So I did use it. I'm using the scenery brush. Um, and a piece of card just to scrub some off on. that is red I'll try a different one yeah that's cool so that pool that was that patch there that I was talking about I'm gonna fill it as if it was a little ice pool a bit around there and then I'm gonna do the same round here now on a live stream a couple of weeks back I was doing some messing around with bases and one of my mates actually said he does a similar thing he doesn't use he's not gone onto the water effects and stuff like that yet and it doesn't take much if you're just doing bases that's less than a brush full you could probably get if you're just doing snow bases then you could probably get away with a, a full army out of one of these small bottles and I think they're running like four or five quid something like that so that's you can see the glistening off there um, but quite rightly it is wet um, but I do have one that I did here as I said you can do as little you could do it all uh, you could do it all as frost but he put blue um, blue tone diluted blue tone underneath it or diluted drucky eye violet underneath and it just gave a blue tint to the, the thing and it just looked as though it was water that had frozen and it, it looked really and again it's not a quick technique that's a little bit more in depth and it, you can take these as far as you want so once you've done that you can see that the center of that was done in the the frost it didn't go deep and I didn't fill it as much as that one but you get the same effect and the, the snow's gone dry now uh, properly dry so it, a lot of the the pigment disappears uh, it, it sinks down and it does look like it just looks like fluffy snow so that's that's a 40k one that's a legion one they look about the same um, 
then rim it in black or brown whichever your choice is and you are done so i hope that helps some people it's a quick and easy way you can do as little as much as you want but for a a quick squad of 10 probably about half an hour not including drying times that that should help getting an army knocked out quite quick so next time and we'll see you again catch you soon